while I'm sharpening stuff I think I'll also do these chisels that I bought on eBay they were sold as second hand but they hadn't been used and they're quite an old brand here in the UK footprint who are still around although I don't think they do wood chisels I think they mainly do masonry kit but these are really nice beveled chisels and I really like these handles they just got a good grip to them and in this particular case they're high vis it would be very hard to misplace these I've already done one and you can see the micro bevel I just catch the light there nice sharp edge you can see that glimmering away there if I grab a bit of paper So this one has the 25 degree bevel on it and I just need to do the micro bevel which is 30 degrees and to do that I'm just using this simple jig that you can buy from pretty much anywhere popping that in the bottom clamping jaws you've got one flat edge here and then a kind of curved section so I'm making sure that sits nicely in there and we're going to do that 30 mil I'm going to start with a 400, flip it over and do 1000, this is 8000 and then I'll strop it. If this was a really knackered chisel, a coarser diamond stone would really help get that main 30 degree bevel back nice and quickly. One of the mistakes I made when I first started getting my sharpening kit was to spend my money on the higher grit whetstones and that really was a waste of time. A thousand grit is more than enough. And what would have been more useful to me would have been a coarse grit at around 200, a medium grit at 600, and then a fine grit at 1000. So it's looking parallel. The diamond stone uses water as a lubricant. I think I saw a Paul Sellers video where he used window cleaner and that would also work, but whatever you do, don't use oil. I'm getting a little bit of a flake of metal coming off so it's kind of bending over. That's a good sign and means the blade is sharpening correctly. When I bought the 8000 grit stone I was convinced it was a fancy ceramic stone but it's actually just a water stone and this needs to be submerged in water before sharpening. I'm now taking the wire edge or burr off by pulling the back of the chisel against the stone. Okay that feels alright. Just give it a wipe and then I'm going to just drop it. And for the final stage of polishing, I'm going to use the back of a sanding disc. And to just get that edge nice and parallel, it's a bit of trial and error. You know, when you start using your honing guide, you work out when to push a little bit to one side or the other and every so often you just have to look at what you're doing and gauge whether you should change the way you're doing it. And then just to make sure they stay sharp I'm keeping the uh, cap on. And this is a shot of the burr on the following chisel I sharpened. It's a real waffer of metal. I also sharpened the plain iron for my low angle block plane, the one that I scuppered the block a little while ago. When I originally sharpened it, I used this honing guide which clamped from the top. It's a bit difficult to use because it doesn't self align and the lower rolling wheel underneath doesn't pivot so you can't compensate while sharpening if you're off a little. You can see if I place this across there that I haven't done a great job and there's a fair bit of material that needs to be taken off this side here. I've tried loosening the clamps and placing an engineer's square against the front edge of the honing guide with the square edge against the side of the plane but when I sharpened I could tell I was taking off material unevenly. See why people don't like this particular one it's really hard to get the thing square wondering whether I can make a little modification to it. 
I decided to swap over to the more typical honing guide with an upper and lower clamping section. These die-cast tools have the settings for the plane iron and chisels written on their sides. On mine, the upper clamp requires a 50mm protrusion to make a 25 degree main bevel and 38mm for a 30 degree micro bevel. And on the lower clamp, this is 40mm for 25 degrees and 30mm for 30 degrees. I sharpened the iron in pretty much the same way as I did the chisels. And this is a low block plane at work. And the thing no one ever tells you is what to do with your stones when you're done. I give mine a wash with some clean water and washing up liquid and then I leave them to dry. In the case of the 8000 grit whetstone, I rub that against the face of the coarse diamond stone just to flatten it off a little. I leave that one out to dry as well and rehydrate it before the next use. Thanks again for watching and you'll catch me in the next one.